well, hello everyone. And here is my review, my thoughts on should you buy your cell phone accessories from the dealer where you buy your phone? Or should you just buy them off the internet, as in Amazon? My answer to that already is Amazon, because I have never once bought anything. Well, I mean, that's true. Maybe right in the beginning I bought a case or something when I got my phone, but no, I've always bought everything online with Amazon, and um, except for this one this time. So when it comes to cell phone stuff, I've been a little brat, and I was always, you know, spoiled. I've had a cell phone since I was about 16 years old and my mom has always paid the bill. It was always a split thing and I'm going to be 36 in like a week. Um, my mom and I have a different relationship now, so that's all right. I have to pay my own cell phone, so we're moving on with this one and no complaints there. And not that I'm treating this phone any differently than anything I had before. I was always with Bell before, now I'm with Rogers, and there's reasons why, but they're not important. And if you guys want to hear what's the difference, as in like call quality, uh, data quality between both, I can definitely let you guys know about that later. If you're interested, let me know. But we're just going to talk about accessories, and are they worth buying from the store while you're getting your phone? No, not one bit. Um, case in point. Let's just pull out this case here. That this is one that I had for my S7 that I had before this phone. I've seen someone with this exact same phone case that they had bought with their purchase because it was for like an iPhone though, but it was the same thing, you know, the two part everything. They paid twenty five dollars for it. I remember paying six something for this off Amazon. So there's an upsell, and yes, that's exactly what it is. It's an upsell. So when the agent, I mean, they're all there making commission, whatnot, it's part of their job. Now don't go hating on them for trying to sell you extra things because it's part of their job. And if they don't even try, you know, there's repercussions and whatnot. So I mean, you can let them try, but is it worth it? Not one bit. So again, this is the newest case, but when I first, first got the phone, when they're brand new, fresh out of the factory, there's not that many cheap cases on the internet for them, but you can usually find these little TPU cases. So they're, you know, flexy, blah, blah, blah. But this one was like $3 and it was for my phone. Now it looks nice and shiny, but all it is is just a little piece of paper. But it doesn't matter. It still looked great and it had a little hold handle thing. Um, it's fallen off a few times. I've had the phone since July 2nd and I ordered this like the week later. So, no complaints about the one I got online whatsoever, the first time, and then with the second one either. But there was a problem with my phone. I brought it in to Rogers to get it fixed, and um, no, it's not cool. Excuse the noise outside, but they're fixing things around. But I went back in to get a s screen protector, or I don't remember why I went to the store that day and picked something up. Or my phone is broken. So I'm looking here. On July 25th, I paid $4.25 for this thing. And he told me that there was a one year or maybe a two year warranty. And my box that it came in was my like receipt of the warranty. So I went back in three weeks ago to get it changed because I had dropped it and broke it. This is the second one they put on. And it was so weird because he was telling me, well, the company is no longer honoring that warranty, so blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, that, that's not legally okay. But do, am I going to take them on? No, but that's not cool. So he put this one on my phone and all right, fine, I'll put it on there. But I kept seeing like dust underneath the screen and I just couldn't understand why. Until I accidentally dropped it while I was moving, I think. And then it cracked and then it just kept cracking, okay? It just kept cracking. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy one off the internet. So that's what I did. So I have one here and it came in a case of three. 
And now there's two kinds that you can get. You have the ones that are this hard glass. And you can get some that are the wiggly kind, which I will show you. This is the one that I have for S7. I like those better. They hug the screen better and they protect just as well from hits and see, see how this one can do this? But this is still a screen protector. You can ding this and hit this. It actually doesn't crack as much because there's a little bit of rebound to it. So if you drop it on a rock or something, it doesn't. I personally like the flexi ones better and I'll show you why if you look at my phone. So the screen protector is on, but it doesn't completely go to the side because my sides are rounded a little bit. Oh yeah, see? My phone rings to tell me to remind me stuff. That's perfectly fine. No problem. I have no problem with people knowing out there that I take medication for, you know, health reasons. That's fine. But my point is, it's not hard to install. So I got this a few days ago and while I put it on this phone, I decided to video myself doing it to show you how easy it is, even though it sounds super complicated. So take a look at this. All right, I'm a little bit in a hurry because I gotta get to my doctor's appointment, but I realized I should probably film this part on how to do it. So this was the original case I bought off the interwebs when I first, first got my phone because when it's a new release, things aren't cheap on Amazon, but so it looked really neat when it was in the case with the glitter, but I've had it for a while and it's kind of starting to be worn out. And I, I like this, so I will be getting a pot socket for the other one. But the screen comes like this. It looks like this. There's little tabs on there. It's, it comes in the foam thing. And you get all these cool things and they're very important. So let's take them out. There's instructions, but we're not going to need them. Then there's these stickers. You can also use tape, but this is just to take the dust off your screen. Um, so there's nothing between there. And it comes with these things that says wet wipes and dry. Now you can find your own way around them because this is pretty much just an alcohol swab. And this is the same thing that I use to wipe my nails with, but we're going to go with these because they're in there. And so it says protective film. So that means there's a film on top. And just so that you would know, usually it says top and bottom. This one doesn't say that, but just peel it off a little bit and see what's happening. So if you peel it off a little bit, you can see that there's coming, coming apart, coming apart. So this part when you peel this film off goes on the phone. So it's going to definitely go this way. So it doesn't cover the notch part, which is fine. So the first thing you do is um, take your little wipey thing. Again, it's nothing but a alcohol swab. And you're just going to clean the screen. Because the whole point of having a screen protector is that you can also not tell that there is one to begin with, correct? Which was weird because this other one that's all broken, I kept getting things underneath the screen, but I will get to that later. Right now, I'm, I'm in a hurry and this actually doesn't take long to do correctly if you know what you're doing. So then you take the other swab and then try not to put any fingerprints. You just wipe it everywhere. So I do have to scrub a couple places because I'm either having scratches or some dust is there. And I do have a few scratches. Well, you know what? We're not going to die from that. So my next step is to just place this on there. And this is where these little neat things, plastic, come and play. And if you don't want to scratch your screen protector, you wrap it in something like the dry paper. So keep the dry paper close. So it's going to fit into the fold very easily. I get everything ready. So it's just right there. This particular one I just bought does not 
cover the roundness of the corners. Do I care? Not really, because I'm going to put a very cool Defender slash Arterbox type on top of a case. So I'm not that worried. All right. So I still have my sticker in my hand, but I don't see any dust. But we're going to try it anyway. I think it's a dust we're gonna try to lift it off and again you can use tape for this by the way scotch tape does the exact same thing so we don't want any fingerprints no nothing hey I'm technically an expert and I still you know, not perfect. So that means that anybody out there can learn to. So line it up. Drop it. And just let it do its thing. It's slowly. I'd show you, but it's happening too fast. It's just creating its own seal. And this one's perfect. This one's perfect. So my sticker, I'm just going to put it back on my page. In case I need it in the future. Just in case. So we are going to put this. Again. And these nails are not made for this. So I used to fix ATMs and I, I had nails and rings and all that whatnot and they all kind of thought it was funny but i still knew what i was doing though that's not going there so this is the box that i well no box it looks like an art box but it has the shock protection in the corners so by telling that you can just look in here how there's a gap of space i mean obviously it has it then but so we're just going to put it in there. Oh, I like this. It's very snug, so it's going to take me a while. And yes, my phone has been off this entire time. Do you have to turn it off? Uh, not really, but it helps because that way you don't accidentally push any buttons, you know, and accidentally keep turning things off and on. So, all right. So my phone is now in a case with a screen protector that is not broken with no anything underneath. Great. The back, I still have my fingerprint sensor. And what I like about this case is because this phone, it's the Huawei P20 Lite, by the way, the camera is a little bit raised, but the case is raised higher than the camera. So you don't hurt your camera and it has a very nice divot in here to slide in your fingerprint to get things. So I'm gonna go out, do my day, and um, next time you see me will be tomorrow when I give you the whole thing. Well, did that look that hard? No, it's not. And I was still doing it with my nails. I mean, it wasn't that that hard to do. It takes a little bit of practice, but the fact that I paid $12.99 for three, three of them when this one that I got from you know the store with the warranty was 40 something dollars no now the reason why this one sucks in my opinion and now that I've taken it off I realize why I kept having all sorts of stuff under the screen the only part on this whole screen protector that is sticky that actually sticks to my phone was the black outline part so all of this had no sticky stuff to it. So of course stuff got underneath. This one here, I know I couldn't bring the camera to show you how fast it worked, but as soon as it started, when I say it, let it happen by itself, you can see it slowly sucking everything out and then just sticking. And yes, the little trick, if there happens to be a little speck of dust after you've cleaned it all up and you don't want to put your fingerprints in it, those usually like those little pieces of tape or just use scotch tape. Scotch tape and just peel it off. Just like, you know, 
those roller lint things just peel off the dust and then put that on there. So do I think you should buy anything from the manufacturer or this? No. $12.99 for this case is a really good deal. It does have the impact cushions in the corner. So if you can see it, and I think you can actually see the name brand right there. And I did buy a pop socket thing. So let's see. There you go. Um, I tried finding them for less than $5 on the internet, and you can't. If they're any cheaper than the $5, then the shipping is more money. And really, $5 is, is not that bad. I mean, you can hold your phone up, you know, when you want to watch videos. It's easier to hold. And this one happened to, you know, match and look cute. It kind of looks like it came with it. Um, the other thing I love about this case, which I've kind of already explained a bit, is I do have a fingerprint sensor. You know, that's how I open my phone. There you go. Um, and the camera on this model is raised a bit. And the case itself is raised so that it doesn't scratch the fingerprint. As you can see that. And it doesn't scratch the camera. So $12.99 for a case and $12.99 for three screen protectors against $40 for one screen protector that is worth poop. And if you want to buy any kind of defensive case that has the shock resistance in store, you're probably going at least 40 bucks or more each. So buying them online, definitely, definitely worth buying them online. I suggest Amazon just because Amazon is pretty quick at shipping. Okay, there's a postal strike right now, but that's not the point, okay? I got this stuff in three days. So when you go through Amazon Canada, so that way there's no extra fees or no nothing, just, it'll tell you who it's sold from. And if it says fulfilled by Amazon, it means that it is coming from Amazon in Canada. It is in their warehouse in Ontario. You will get it within three days. Sometimes they have third party vendors. Those may take longer. It'll say that it's shipping from Hong Kong or whatnot. But if it says fulfilled by Amazon, so what I pick for these, I always pick those ones. It means that it is already in their warehouse in Ontario. So it takes about three days because either side of the country, I mean, it takes about three days to get there for driving. So I have nothing bad to say about anything bought on Amazon. There is several different brands. Are they all different? Of course they're all, but it just goes with your personal preference. Do you like the hard tempered glass ones? Do you like the wiggly thingy ones? Do you want a case that has bling and shiny on it? Do you want a wallet case? Got a few of there too that I just give them to my mom and she's coming by later to drop some stuff off so I just might give these to her as well because she still has a Samsung S7 and um, I don't have any reason to hold these. And one last thing that I want to add when it comes to headphones. So the Hawaii came with these poopy headphones. That's my mom telling me she's coming here. Um, but I always buy my headphones at Winners. And again, this is not sponsored by Winners, but Winners and I are very cool. We're very good friends. Um, $7.99, like here's the price. I will show you the price. These are awesome headphones. One, they're pink. I mean, heck, I like pink. And they're the in-ear kind. So for, for me personally, that actually helps my anxiety because it really helps drown out all the sound when I go out because I'm practicing, you know, agoraphobia is a real thing, but I also don't want to be stuck in my home, you know, I just got to keep trying. So I don't hear things and sometimes I'm sorry if I bump into people, but they're the, the in-ear and they have extra two sets. So there's three sets of ear pads inside your ear. And when it comes to being able to speak because I want the ones that I can speak on the phone. So when I'm out in public or whatnot and I get a phone call, I can just, you know, answer and speak. And there's actually a volume control on here. So it goes up and down and it works. I tried it. And then that's just the answer and, and call button. It hangs at a really good distance. This cord I find is super long so I can have the phone in my pocket and not have to worry about getting it stuck on anything and uh, the great thing about pop sockets is you can just wrap your phone earphones around it and you know they don't get all scrambled up and lost 
So when it comes to everything as a conclusion, definitely buy online. I personally like Amazon.ca fulfilled by Amazon because you get it within three days. Amazon also has great customer service and that's not to say. I mean, I've never had bad, bad customer service from Amazon, but I always pick French better. The conversation's a little bit more friendlier, my opinion and my experiences. But other than that, Amazon is quick, cheap. You are backed up by their A to Z guarantee if something doesn't happen the way you think it should or whatnot. eBay is really sketchy, so not so much there. But yeah, don't have to buy it in store. They will try to sell it to you because it's part of their job. So they have to do. Do they actually believe in their products? I have no clue. But they can't tell you whether they do or not because again, it's part of their job. So with that, I'm going to leave you with, yes, buy it online for less money and if you ever have any questions about trying to put a screen on, you wonder which one to buy, or is this case worth it? Any questions about any kind of electronics, feel free to message me. You can message me on the Facebook page. There is a message button. Because I am an electrical engineer and technologist. Yes, I'm pretty, got nails, but I still know things. Um, but other than that, thank you very much. You guys have a great day and a great weekend. And thanks.